like, just like, a, you know, <gasps> what happened? You guys, three years I've had this Morphe E4 brush keeps costing 10% off, and it finally just hit the bed after three years. I've washed this probably 87 times. Oh, don't lie. You're, oh, don't lie. You're, oh, don't lie. You only washed it twice. <laughs> Honestly, probably. You're probably right. Not gonna lie. Guys, did y'all see James Charles' brush fell out in that video, that Morphe video he did with Jaclyn Hill? So he's sitting there doing his busted ass makeup, girl, and the brush falls right out. Clock at the house. Am I the only one who saw that, girl, or no? Because then I was kind of shocked because at the same time I was thinking, well, honey, 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 honey. The brush fell off, and then he immediately promoted his code to buy it. I'm like, girl, you just showed it falling apart. How dare you p pedal your co your code to pander your... That's kind of shady the house. Girl, if I'm sitting here doing my makeup, girl, and my brush falls off, why would I say, oh, girl, it fell off, but use my code, blah, 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 blah. And he, he tries to make an excuse for it, and then Jacqueline Hill clocks it, but you got to watch the video, find all that drama. But she was kind of hard, girl. She was going like this, the house, like, girl. She's a little bit rough-handed, girl. But I was like, girl, this proves it again. It fell off right on camera. Hello? What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Lux. In today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. I'm back. What's going on, everyone? Now, wait. Before you get upset and the Poindexters in the comments want to come for me, the house. I must say, prepare yourself. I have a brand new look for the summer. And once you see it, people will hate. Throw a little shade, cause they can't take my look, honey. You just can't take me, honey. Here we go. <gasps> yes, get into it, girl. Get into a little mug, look. Mm, yeah, I know. People will now hate, girl. People are gonna hate now. Here we go. Well, we have so much drama to talk about today. Just like my life, this video is gonna be all over the place, girl. I don't even know what's going on. Every time I feel like I'm on top of the drama, there's more drama that pops off, okay? So I'm glad to be back, girl. Back in my throne, honey, hanging out with you. I really wanna redesign my set to be more like fancy looking, girl, but I just can't help it, girl. I like my toys, okay? And I, I don't know where I'll be without the Cynthia doll, girl, okay? Now. You know I have my receipts, girl. I have all my receipts on my little phone. So I'm not just here making up lies, girl. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you what I bought at the Morphe store. If you wanna watch, you can wait You can wait for that one towards the end of the video. Okay, well, Nikki Tutorials is at it again, girl. Which is so strange because I have been following Nikki Tutorials' career since the beginning, girl, okay? And I kind of feel like this is the first time, if not in a long time, that Nikki Tutorials throw a little shade. She never throws any shade to anybody, girl. And I kind of like Nikki Tutorials not being like a shady queen, right? I like her the way she is, very industry, very about business. Okay, well, here's the tweet that have it, okay? So apparently Nikki Tutorials was on this little trip with other beauty guru influencer mysterious gurus. And uh, she, and if I have the clip of them hanging out, I'll post it. Manny, we finally have a new job. But I don't know who it was, so don't make assumptions, girl. Remember, there's a difference between instigation and information. There's a little difference, girl. If I have the clip, I'll show it to you. Now, according to my receipts, girl, that Cynthia worked hard all night trying to find, here's what it says, okay? Now, before I give you this exclusive hot tea, make sure you like the video and hit that notification bell, girl. Don't be shady being lady. Here we go. I'll always be surprised by how some creators will act so different in real life as opposed to their online persona. It honestly makes me sad. Just be you. Well, girl, there it is. 
that that's a little tea. So you know my fat ass has my opinions and my views. I kind of feel indifferent about it. I know some of y'all are gonna be like, yeah, and wanna attack and try to find out who it is. But honestly, there were some people who just, I'm trying to think who it could be that she's talking about. Who on YouTube, that's a beauty influencer that she must know. I've never met her, she can't be me, girl. I never met her in my life. She still cannot admit that I do makeup 10 times better than her. Okay, she will never admit it. This is why Nikki Tutorials will never do makeup better than me. She just can't admit it, girl. I do makeup. Everybody knows. I mean, this has been the laughing joke of YouTube all year. Everybody knows my makeup's 10 times better than Nikki Tutorials. She just never wants to admit it, girl. But anyways, I digress. I wonder who she's talking about. What beauty guru has a big persona online, but then offline, it could be a totally different person. You know, because I kind of feel like, well, Nikki Tutorials is like, well, hey guys. You know, at the beginning of her video, then you got Nicole Consilio with with her, how you do. If you notice that, Nicole Consilio always says, how you doing? I'm like, it's like, like from Wendy Williams or something. It could it be Manny? Could it been Laura? Could it be Nikita Dragon? Who is she talking about? I really don't think, the only person I could think about that, that, that would cross my mind, no disrespect, so don't come for me, girl. I don't wanna hear it today. There, it, I think it's, it could be Laura Lee. And I say that because it has been said and there has been rumors that Laura Lee is very nice and sweet on video and then off camera she's rude to people. Nah, it's just a rumor. I don't know, so don't run with it. And other people say it could be Nikita Drag because somebody has said that they, she was rude to them but then other people said no, she's nice. So it's like, who could it be? It really doesn't matter. I think Nikki Tutorials needs to spill the tea, girl. Nick is, but Nikki Tutorials ain't gonna say it, girl. She don't need the views, girl. Just like me, I don't need views, I get views, okay? So speaking of, okay, don't cover me, okay. Okay, are you ready for this one? Okay, speaking of Nicole Concilio, love her so much, girl. Okay, she freaking bought a house the other day. She, a freaking house. Off the backs of Kylie Cosmetics. My opinion, love her so much. No, but seriously, like congratulations to Nicole Concilio for buying a house, girl. I'm pretty sure it's hard. I know it's like a big milestone for people, so I'm not trying to take that away from her. We love her so much. You're gonna be shocked on what I'm about to tell you. Okay. Nicole Casilio did a video. Okay. Nicole Casilio did a video. If you remember my last Nicole Casilio video, I said that she had said that she's not gonna review Kylie Cosmetics anymore. She had said. Every time I do it, it's drama, it's not worth it. I'm not gonna review Kylie stuff no more. Well, honey, not even three months pass by if she reviews another Kylie Cosmetics palette, girl. Now, I think the Kylie Cosmetics palette is called like, oh, sweet, bittersweet, not so sweet. I don't know, girl, whatever. So she reviews the Kylie Cosmetics brand new, not so sweet palette. Well, honey, you already know. Everybody already knows, girl. I was like, well, here it is, girl. This is it. You don't even have to watch the video. You know she's gonna love us to match. Why watch the video? You know she's gonna give it raving reviews. I watched the video so you don't have to, girl. And so so did Cynthia Dawson. So give her some credit too, girl. So I was like, girl, what's the tea? I watched the video and I was shocked, girl. Because she said she didn't really like the palette. It's in the book of YouTube. I wrote down in the history books. It's going down, girl. Nicole Castillo said, I really don't recommend this palette for you guys. And I was shook. And as far as the palette goes, I don't know. Like, I'm just, there was nothing wrong with it. There, it was like fine. I just feel like when I look at these colors, there's nothing in here that really jumps out to me. Like, I have a lot of colors that already are similar to that. However, if you are someone who is looking for a palette, I feel like this could be a good option for you. I did have like a slight little error on one of the shades. I don't know, I'm I'm not like wowed by this collection. Like I think to this day, my favorite, favorite, favorite Kylie collection was and is the Naughty and Nice palettes. I think that those palettes were amazing. And I really liked her Stormy collection as well. So I'm hoping for the summer months that she will come out with a bang and kind of have like more colorful and vibrant shades in her collection. 
But I mean, I was like, I mean, I was fine with it. I don't know. I definitely want to go out and buy it. That's just my opinion. That's just my hypothesis. Will I use the palette again? Probably not, to be honest with you guys. I probably won't because I have so many shades like that and I genuinely have been enjoying using more color this time of year, especially when it's summer. I feel like you can get away with using like really pretty colors, vibrant colors. So yeah, I hope that this review was entertaining and that's it, Kade Cosmetics. How are you gonna pay for your house? You're all gonna be you're gonna be kicked off the Kade PR list. That's this over. They're not gonna put you on the freaking Instagram no more. So I'm thinking my conspiracy. Nicole Concilio love Kade Cosmetics so much enough to buy her a badass house, and then now she got what she wanted. Oh, Kade Cosmetics will bust at the house, girl. But that's just my opinion, girl. You guys like my dog, girl? I had a. I had to put her down, girl, because she just kept pooping all over my white carpet. So I love her so much, but here she is. I'm just joking. It's just a little, it's just a little thing, girl. You put on your shoulder, girl. Because you already know, people are just looking, looking. Well, wait, wait. So I was like, wow. So this makes me feel like I can kind of a little bit, not really, but a little bit, I can kind of trust Nicole Castillo now with her reviews. I mean, she's actually giving some honest reviews. Who knew? Who knew? Which I didn't even know Kylie was going to come out with another busted ass palette. Oh, bittersweet or whatever. So I went over to the Kylie Cosmetics website, girl. And this is what I had saw. I was shocked the house. All right, guys. Here's the palette. Sort of sweet. Let me click on it and see what all the drama is about. So sort of sweet bundle, $78. Okay, what is that? Are those bows or something? Oh, they're little candies. Okay. Then the palette itself is $42. I mean, come on. I mean, we've all seen this before, girl. I mean, you know, Nudie Patootie, the house, girl. Nudie Patootie. Laura Lee beat Kylie Cosmetics to the punch months ago. Damn. Anyways, it, it just looks boring. Let's click on it. Let's give it a little benefit of the doubt. All right, Kylie Cosmetics, $42. There's one review. You already know that's Nicole Concilio's review right there. Well, wait a minute. It couldn't be. It's five stars, so you already know it's not. All right, but <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But anyways, there it is. Well, girl, so somebody has sent me this receipt, too, have it right here, about the new Jeffree Star palette. They said that the Jeffree Star palette was leaking oil all over the place, girl. So according to this Instagram, this is what it said. Check it out. Uh, so you can see here on this Instagram, you can see that there's like this oil coming out of like the pans. Well, Jeffree Star tweeted out, girl. She responded, it's just what she said. It's from the heat and the ingredients from the shadows. We are investigating it right now, but no worries. The product is still perfect. So I'm thinking, I've seen this before in other products, like at the, some palettes at Sephora or something, but I think those are like really old palettes and they start to leak oil when they get really old. Well, you already know I have my palette right here and there's no leakage, girl. I mean, nothing's leaking the house at all. So maybe somebody threw a little water on there and get some views, who knows? Or maybe, ultimate conspiracy, what if Kat Von D snuck into Jeffree Star's factory and threw some olive oil in the batch of makeup. And then this, now that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Kat Von D did that. She's so bitter and she's so jealous of the house girl that everyone's hating on her makeup because she likes, because she don't want to give people injections that she was like, you know what? Jeffree doing so good. I'm going to go over there in the middle of the night. I'm going to sneak in and throw olive oil all over his makeup the house. Just throw a little salt in the game, bro. See, but Jeffree didn't want to spill the real tea, girl. Okay, she didn't want to spill the real tea. That's, if he did... Because if he wanted to tell the truth, he would have said, Kat Von D is trying to sabotage me the house. This is what she did the house, girl. So I don't know. I'm just glad I didn't get a leaky palette. Because you know if I would have got one, it would have been a whole anything for views, girl. Okay? Okay. The moment you all been waiting for, girl. I'm going to show you what I bought at the Busted Ass Morphe store. So here we go. Now, I don't own any brushes by Morphe except one. Which is the one I bought. Okay. It's, look, it's still in the package, girl. Now, the only reason I bought this one... It's because Laura Lee, love her so much, said that this is the br the best brush. She said it was a really good foundation brush. This is the Y6 by Morphe. She's always promoting this one. And I was like, okay, well, let me see. Let me get it. Let me see how it feels. It feels really light and really cheap in the hand. Like, like this doesn't feel like quality. D just my opinion, so don't come for me. And then these brushes are really soft, but I'm pretty sure it's like synthetic dyes and stuff like that, chemicals, whatever, make it really soft, right? So this is foundation brush. I have yet to use it, but I will use it. 
and then I'll give you my review in another video. So if you care about the Morphe Y6 brush and if it really is good for putting on your foundation, just keep watching for another video. You gotta wait to the next video. But lately I've just been using um, beauty blenders. I think everyone uses beauty blenders to put on foundation now, if you ask me. There was a time, I think last year I was using brushes a lot and then I went over to the beauty blender because it just it speeds up the process a little bit more. So I'm really excited to try this one out. Did I need a foundation brush? Hell no, girl, but here we are. I'll have to be the guinea pig for you guys. Okay, so I bought a Jeffree Star Lippy at the Morphe store. Now, this was my first time at the Morphe store of the house, and if you wanna see the video of me walking around shopping at Morphe, let me know, hit the like button, leave a comment that you wanna see that video so I know to post it. Cause I don't wanna be putting out videos y'all really don't wanna see. So this one is called Breakfast at Tiffany's, and I got it because I just love this type of blue, and here it is right here. Now, I used it once in a previous video a couple days ago, but I used it as eyeshadow girl. And I kind of like the way it looked, but I just think it's a really cool blue. Okay, this one I'm using a lot. It's called I'm Nude, and I have it on right now. And I just put a little ombre in it on top of that. And so this is I'm Nude, and I use this one all the time. This is why I bought it, because I will probably use this all rest of the year. And then I got this one, which is called Jawbreaker. I just like the, you know, I'm going to use these as eyeshadows, just to be honest. I'm not going to use them really that much as lippies, because I can you. I just feel like you can just do whatever you want with makeup, and so those are the two colors there. Then I picked up this one, which is Red Rum, and I picked it up for my mom. I don't really wear much red, but I'm just gonna put it like right in here. And so I was kind of confused to get Red Rum. This is what it looks like there. I was kind of confused. Like, I didn't know if I should get Red Rum, the liquid lipstick, or if I should just go ahead and get the regular one, which is like this one, the non-liquid the non -liquid lipstick. So I was thinking, I was like, well, she's like an older woman. If I get the liquid, I think it'll show her wrinkles more on her lips or something. So I felt like if I went ahead and got the regular lipstick, it would suit her better. Um, so that's why I chose that. I don't know. I asked the lady at the Morphe store. I said, is there a difference between Red Rum liquid lipstick or Red Rum regular lipstick? And she was like, I don't know. And I was like, well, I don't know, girl. Okay, well, thanks for helping me. I love you so much. So I ended up getting the regular one. Hopefully she uses it, girl, okay? And then I got a palette, which I think I've been holding onto this palette forever. This is it, right? I got it at Hot Topic. This is the Night Fiend palette, but I don't know if this is something y'all would even wanna see reviewed or not. Look, I haven't even opened it. The plastic's still on it. It's very like a gothic type palette. And, and so I don't know if y'all guys wanna see this one or not, but. I have it here just in case y'all do. Uh, I just, I swear, I just buy so much makeup, girl. Anyways, if you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, since your haters when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life, they'll never get back. Don't forget, I do have music on iTunes, so check it out if you want, and I'll see you next video. Bye! Ooh, no girl, no girl.